Hi, boys and girls. Hi, listeners. This is Janny, storytelling garden granny, out in her garden. I'm writing stories out here about animals, and this one's about two mice that live in a haunted house and see what happens. By the way, I make these book covers so you can follow along with me. And I want you to push the button to tell me how you like it. Should this story be made into a book? Tell me if you like it or not. How Garlic Saved the Haunted House Mice. Harold, a male mouse, Hortense, a female mouse. Together they live in an old haunted house. The old house moaned, the old house groaned. The roof leaked, the floor squeaked. They never really felt alone. Sometimes they trembled with fear, thinking ghosts and goblins were near. They were afraid almost every day. How could they tell them to go away? If a plan could be made, what would it be? Just hang around and you will see. Harold was a He-Man mouse. Enemies he could conquer and fight. Hortense was a house mouse, scared easily with fright. Together they formed a tight little bond that they felt there and far beyond. Harold and Hortense were a true mouse pair. They first held hands under a broken chair. Harold asked for her hand and even a first kiss. Hortense was delighted and full of mouse bliss. You have been eating garlic, my dear. Hortense, Harold gasped, please eat only cheese like you have in the past. But Hortense kept eating garlic more and more. Harold then had to buy pet spray at the mouse grocery store. Much to this couple's happy surprise, ghosts and goblins seemed to hate garlic as well as mosquitoes and flies. They were happy about this and astonished too. Now they knew exactly what they should do. So Harold and Hortense ate so much garlic every day because they know ghosts and goblins will stay away. So garlic saved the mouse house couple. Now Harold and Hortense have no more troubles. Their house is no longer haunted. They feel so fine. Now by eating more garlic, this mouse couple feels so divine. The end. Thank you. Thank you, boys and girls. I'll have more garden stories tomorrow in my garden. Bye-bye now.